if you were given the opportunity to go into space, would you go? For most people, this question is always a no-brainer. They answer like, yes, I would love to like see the Earth from space and like travel like through the stars and such. For me personally, it's always been more like a fuck no. I'm the kind of person that firmly believes that humans were made to stand on Earth, you know, on like the ground, not up in the air, on the ground. And after reading this book, I don't ever, 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 ever want to think anymore about space or NASA. It's just fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Hey guys, I am here to do a review of 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. Yeah. And in advance, sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. The sun is like hiding in clouds and then coming back up and it's, 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 yeah. Okay, so 172 Hours on the Moon, it's about three teenagers that are basically sent off into space. And that's the basic premise of the book. You know, it's like the year 2018, I can't remember. But the first chapter is just a bunch of really important people from NASA talking about how they want to send people to the moon again, but there's not enough funding because people are not excited about, you know, trips to outer space anymore. And they're thinking about how to like create a hype around this trip and get sponsorship. And then someone suggests like sending three teens to the moon. Teenagers are perfect. And like, it sounds really stupid. Why, why, why would you send teenagers to the moon? It's not realistic in any way. But then you think about it and yeah, it's believable because the media or anyone, in fact, why would they care if like they send a 30 year old man to the moon? Nobody cares about that, but teenagers, that's the thing. It's stupid. How do you send an unqualified 16 year old out into space? And that's kind of what, what, what we want to see. That's what, that's what the media, that's what the people want to see. Honestly, it's kind of fucked up. Society is fucked up, so we know that. And, and the book knows that. So they send three teens to the moon. And to do that, NASA uh, holds a lottery, a worldwide lottery, so that any kid from any part of the world can go to the moon. And it's cool, because it ha they, they, they do that. From the beginning of the book, you know who are the teens that are going to go. It's a guy from France who's called Antoine, a girl from Japan who's called Midori, and a girl from Norway called Mia. Midori and Antoine uh, do want to go to space. They both have their reasons. Antoine wants to go because he wants to forget his ex-girlfriend, which is very, very French. Midori wants to get out of Japan, she wants to like live in New York and stuff, and Mia wants to get her band famous. She didn't really want to go in the beginning, but then she's like, okay, I can, I can, like, spread the word about the band. You know a little bit about the characters and, like, their backgrounds and stuff, and, um, I really didn't feel quite connected to them. Uh, I didn't really feel strongly about their causes. I wasn't like, oh yes, Antoine, you should go to the moon to forget your love. And like, Midori, like, yeah, you should like go live your life in New York. I, did, I didn't feel passionate about them. I didn't really care about them, now that I think about it. Then the lottery happens, they win. You're not surprised about that because you knew they were going to win. And then the training starts. I liked that it was sort of realistic, you know, because they're teens, they have to go through training, they go through months and months of training. Um, I would have enjoyed to see what they train, like known about, known a lot more about what astronauts have to do to prepare themselves to go into space. I would have loved reading about that, but it was just very like, they trained and then they went. It was very brief. I would have really liked to see like a boot camp for outer space. That would have been cool. But to Alice, you don't get that. And through the period of time when they win the lottery and they actually go to the moon, there's like things happening, like weird, inexplicable things happened and it's kind of weird. Everything I've told you goes up to like halfway through the book because it's, it's a bit slow paced. They don't go to the moon until halfway through the book. And um, there's bad stuff on the moon. There's bad stuff on the moon. I'm sure most of you have read about this book, and if you haven't, there's bad stuff on the moon. The back says it. It's the opportunity of a lifetime if they make it back alive. So there's creepy shit in the moon, and you get that from the very beginning when NASA's talking about, like, the expedition to the moon. They're like, hmm, we have some secret files because we found something up there that's not really, like, it's bad. So the whole like first half of the book 
there is a creepy underlying to everything. Everything has a motive. There's that like little, like, there's something wrong. There's something really off here. There's something that's it's bad. And then they actually are sent off into space. It's a crew of eight, if I am not mistaken. Five real astronauts and like three, the three kids. We get to see a little bit of the background of the other astronauts and like we care, we, we know enough about them to care a little bit about them. Uh, and the teens, you know, you're following them and you sort of care about them and you kind of do. You're st I, I still hadn't felt really attached to any of them. The main character, it's, it, it, there is sort of a main character, there is a main character. Mia is the one teenager to sort of stand out of the story, so you, you, I, I didn't really felt quite attached to her until they were on the moon, and she was the only one that I actually ended up caring about. I don't know if you can hear that, that's my cat. Cat? Cat? The rocket flies and they're like in space and it's like, it looks like a cool fun experience and I thought like, oh, well, it might be cool like to be like in space and get to see Earth. But once they get to the moon. Cat? 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 Come on, so cat. She doesn't like the book because she actually read it with me. Didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, you yeah, did. What's wrong? Say hi. Say hi. Once they get on the moon, it's fucked up. It is so fucked up. I can't tell you much about it because part of the cool thing of the story is that you don't know what's up there, but it's so <laughs> fucked up. Up, I can't even like it's so messed up. It's like no in the book They make a reference to when Neil Armstrong first uh, landed on the moon or was it the other guy? I don't know, but one of them described the moon as magnificent Magnificent desolation and it's just that can you imagine being up there? You're literally alone in space. You are alone You you don't have any help like, it's just you with your little spaceship and you are alone in a planet. You're, you're alone. Cad. The author did a wonderful job at illustrating that loneliness and it, that, that, that's what made it so scary because they were up there in like a little moon base, kind of, yeah, like a moon base and it, it's they're alone it, even if they're talking through radio with NASA or whatever it's it's they're not there to help they're on they, they are on their own I'm not gonna say anymore but I can tell you that they don't go out there unharmed that's all I'm gonna say and you just really feel for the characters you know enough of all of them even the other five astronauts you, you know enough of them to like be afraid for them and care for them and be like no please author like no i was reading at night like with the book like grasping it so hard my hand on my chest and i was like no 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 but yes it is just so fucked up I, I didn't enjoy the book i didn't really enjoy it i felt like it was all just torture it was so stressed and so tense and my fucking god cat shut up can you listen to that I don't know, I just, I can't even. It was fucked up. Now, what I recommended, what I recommended, yeah. It was written by a Nore Norwegian author. Norwegian, that's how you say it. It's by an author that's not from the United States. It was really cool. It's a translated copy. Uh, it was really well translated. There's, there's, thing is there's little things that don't really make sense oh, there's actually a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense there's a lot it's like what happened but it's still kind of cool and creepy and it's it's scary in its way it's the loneliness that 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 feeling of like utter utter loneliness i already said that but it's it's lonely and also the book by itself is just really well done, like, it has pictures, images, like, the last page is, like, 
just tacked it has little maps and like like the, the the thingy it's it's so cool it was, it was a really well designed book well designed story and I enjoyed it I just no I didn't enjoy it I actually didn't enjoy it I was stressed I was really stressed reading it but it was a cool experience it was a cool reading experience and that's all I can say about no spoilers it's a story that finishes and you're just left with a big what the fuck a big one and I will be making a separate video talking spoilers because I need to talk stuff. I need to get it out of my system and like talk about it. But anyways, have you read it? If you did, go to that video. You can click right here to see that one. And if you haven't, will you read it? Will check? Will you check it out? Have you heard of it? Is it something that might interest you? Would you go to the moon? Would you? Would any of you ever go to the moon? I wouldn't. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will check it out. Why not? It's creepy. It's really creepy. Just so you know, that's an eye. This is an eye. That's the, the moon. That's the moon. And I'm not sure if you can see that. But this little thing here. Okay, you can't see that. Okay, you can. This little thing here is an astronaut. I hope that's how you pronounce it. That's an astronaut. Uh, astronaut. 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 That's a thing that goes into space in a spacesuit. That, that's another thing. That's another thing in space that's not in a spacesuit. Think about that. Think about that. It's definitely a correct read. I recommend it for like a weekend, at night. Like the first half is kind of slow. But after the first half, you just go really quickly through it. You'll go quickly through it. So that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! What the fuck? 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 Just so many what the fucks. You're so creepy. So creepy. It was really well written. It was reading... <laughs> and through the period of time where they're, they are chosen to go the... <laughs> we're made to stand... <coughs> it's never... I can't... Spoilers. I cannot talk... I will, I will not talk spoilers. But I can tell you that... Oh, I can't. I can't tell you that. I can't. Boom! It it, it... 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 It don't make sense anymore. And it's horrible. And it's like... What the fuck? What the fuck? And, um, yeah, it's, uh, I lost my train of thought. Steps on the moon. He gave the perfect description of it. Eh. Hi guys, and welcome to Spoiler Discussion of 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. And if you have not read this book, go away. Like, what are you doing here? Go away. Shoo. You can check out my non-spoiler review for this one. But right now we're gonna talk spoilers, heavy spoilers, like... Go, you have three seconds. Three, two, one, go.